Well, you've probably seen it driving up to the mountains. The Argo Tunnel and Mill has been the focal point of Idaho Springs for more than a hundred years, and its new owners want to not only preserve it, but develop that entire area around it. Today, Dominic Garcia hit I-70 and headed about 30 miles west to learn what is next for the Argo Mine. This is one of those places you've probably driven by a million times, but have never actually stopped to check out. Well, thanks to a new grant and a group of locals who now own this place, it's going to be here for a long time, and big plans are in the works. The old Argo Mill may look, well, old, but when you pull off I-70 and step onto the property, a rough estimate of how much gold was produced here, you see that it is very much alive. Somewhere around 600,000 ounces. For years, it's been offering tours, letting people explore the tunnel and mill. You can even pan for gold, just like they did in the 1800s. But at 124 years old, the Argo is starting to show its age. We've got windows that are falling out and metal sheathing that's going off. There's little pieces here that we need to worry about. Mary Jane Lovely grew up in Idaho Springs and is part of a group of locals who bought the Argo along with Denver developer Dana Crawford. Just this year, they got a grant from the History Colorado State Historical Fund. It'll help address structural issues to keep the tours going. What will happen to the Argo after that is ambitious, to say the least. This valley needs a hotel, it desperately needs housing, and we need to showcase forever the iconic nature of the Argo Mill. And that's exactly what's in their vision plan. The hotel will have a conference center and adventure cabins. There will be housing, a greenway bike path, even a brewery. This place is one of the most amazing pieces of not only Colorado history, but American history. The hope is to preserve the Old West charm of the Argo, but give people even more reasons to pull off I-70 for a visit. I'd almost say 80% of the people that come here have always seen this red building on their way by. We call them whiz -bys. Mary Jane grew up always wondering what was in the Argo. When she finally saw it, she realized just how special it is and wants all those whiz -bys to see it too. So the first priority is to make sure this thing is structurally sound. Then comes the restaurant, the hotel, all that other stuff. Their goal is to have all that done in five years. In Idaho Springs, Dominic Garcia, CBS 4 News.